guys, Guy Goshen 9 here with Legend of Zelda Force Lord Adventures. I am still in Kakariko Village, but I'm getting paid for my brave work that I did in the last video. And that brave work was rounding up 10 thieves. And oh my god, I said a bomb. Run away! Alright. So, now in this video, I'm going to be dealing with the second part of Kakariko Village. Uh, that stone down there. Ow, that hurt. That stone down there has nothing in it, however, this stone down here does. And there's nothing you can do against that chain chomp. But yeah, this is why I went back to get those bombs after I got that shovel. And this puzzle is a little tricky, but just get another bomb and let's wait for it to go. Bluey! And we get a fire rod! Oh, just what we needed. It's not like the town's on enough fire, let's give it some more! Yay! We're helping! So, yes, next part. Now, this place has a lot of liftable trees. I'm going to lift, uh... I'm going to try and lift the ones that have stuff in them. Here, I gotta play this guy. Let me look at that for a sec. Oh, there's one. No rupees for you! Oh, I mean... Damn it! Seriously, why do they not have rupees in this, like, game? I don't understand that. I mean, there's not one. I mean, there have been a few Zelda games uh, nowadays that actually have four stems, but, like, you know, rupees are still the currency and all that, and I don't know. I just don't understand. By the way, I have not played Spear Tracks. You've seen it, of course, haven't you? All the trouble we've had having fires around the village? What we need is a good downpour, but there's nearly a drop of rain to be had. I'd say a rain prayer, but I can't very use the flame for our own fires. Hmm, gotta do something with the village doom. What to do? What to do? Yeah, I'll just do your job for you. Oh my god, look at that! I'm a magician! Oh, less than rain, less than rain. But this is a bit too much rain. I don't know why, but this doesn't feel right. Well, jeez, make up your mind. Whatever. Oh, look at that! I've saved the village. And let's do a footage cut, because I feel like it. Yeah, uh, this course, like I said, is long, and I'm just passing through all the areas in that little scene there, but basically, wherever you go, uh, the flames will go out now, and this Zora is hungry. It's, let's play some Hungry Hungry Zora! And he wants us to feed ten fish. And we got a minute to do it. Now, this is not, uh, required. This, literally, you don't have to do this, but, uh, uh, try and go for the thing that I'm doing. Have one link go one way, and have one link go the opposite way. And you, what you want to do is, you want to scare the fish up north. And, yeah. That is hard, though, because you're only really controlling one link at once. So, yeah, like, you, you just gotta be quick with it or something. And I, oh, there I go. I'm halfway through, and I already got all ten fish, so... Yeah, uh, you don't have to get all ten fish, though. It really... The, uh, the number of fish just determines what you get out of this. No matter what, though, you do get a treasure chest on the right. But, uh, let's see. Uh, recently, uh, Mega Freak 400 celebrated his birthday. And so I shall sing. I shall tell him happy birthday while feeding a Zora fish. Happy birthday, Mega! Yay! Hold it! Oh, it is tasty! Oh boy. He's stuck. So yeah, if you meet the fish requirement, you get a hundred four stem. Either way, you get a heart container. Let's do another random footage cut! Yay! Alright, we're back. So this kid, uh, really no need to talk to him. He's sick and he didn't want to go outside in the fire. But yeah, so, uh, if I didn't get through it all, this is still, man, 20 years. Mega Freak 400. Give him a hand. He's awesome. And he loves bacon, so that makes him double awesome. And so this kid wants us to loot the stuff underneath his house. What a nice kid. And now he's a nice poor kid. Alright, so now we're officially done with Kakariko Village. We can actually physically leave the village now. So yeah, it, it's not the end. Uh, this actually has like... Oh, let's talk to her for a sec. Wait, you aren't the Dark Shadowy guy, are you? But, uh, you're the one who made it rain, are you? Thank you. Oh, we got the thing. I'm so happy. Let's lift a rock in celebration. 
and go down this stair and lift another rock because we are manly. I'm on a horse. Yes, I am recording this while on a horse. And I got a boomerang. Now, at this point, the offensive item that you get is very inconsequential. However, it's a good idea to get the boomerang for the next part. Sort of. I don't know. It depends on how much you want force gems. Whoa, look at Shadow Link and he brought friends! In this scene, they're going to be very dead friends! Yar! So yeah, here's one of the uses of the boomerang. You can use it to stun the Shadow Links and kill them. Uh, one thing you want to be careful though, as I just recently found out, is that the boomerang will also, as you just saw there, will also collect the bombs as well. Now the thing about this area is that you have these three hole rooms and all that. And um, in order to see what's inside them, you have to press on a switch that's like located right next to the holes. Ah, damn it. I was, I was hoping I was going to get lucky with the red link. Oh well. Get off, green link. So yeah, uh, the three rooms, uh, there are nothing in them. There's a... Uh, this one just has, like, you know, drop-down things. One of the rooms has a bunch of ladders in it. And the other room's just, like, a basic room. Like, one way in, one way out. It, it's inconsequential. But there's really nothing here. Just get hard to move on. And no, that wasn't the final boss. Yet. Alright, so, there's another use for the boomerang, but... At this point, the boomerang is now officially useless. But now we can't go back into town, so... In this next part here, we get to run through the rapids. But I don't have my kayak. Sad face. Oh well, let's get some fortunes while avoiding some cactuses that are mysteriously growing out of the river. Yeah, that's about all that there is to this. Uh, the river has a current, however, so you might want to be careful. Uh, at this point, the current's actually not that bad, but uh, in the next area, deal the current's like really bad, and I miss that gem. Damn it! I want to get it, and I miss that one too. God damn it! All right, uh, here this there's no current, but there's a lot of Zoras. Run away! Oh my god, I'm under attack. Let's get some gems and then leave. They're not nice. Ah, what the hell? How did I miss that one? Ugh. All right, let's get this force fairy at least. All right, here the current is really strong, and it's really hard to get that one force fairy. So, but yeah, I have like 60 odd fairies now, so it really doesn't matter. And now we're finally at the boss area. And oh look, it's that thing again. Only it's green now. So that obviously means just another royal knight of Hyrule has been cursed by Vati. And given that the color, it's obviously green. Ow. That hurt. Alright, so, yeah, uh, same as usual, kill the minions, and you get sucked into the dark world, and then it functions the exact same way as the blue one did. Ow! That hurt. Alright, now the royal jewels, uh, one, one user, um, was able to decipher this, like, back when the blue one happened, but, um, the royal gems are actually, uh, the gems that you see in the, uh, Minish Cap game. Uh, However, you don't know what they are in this game. And that's because, like I said, Minish Cap was released after this game was. So, at this point, you really don't know. Oh, here, yeah, let's listen to this guy. I'm the Knight of Hyrule Chargers guarding the Green Royal Jewel, the Four Sword of the Seal, to Vadi's prison. If you have it, that means the seal has been broken. Yet, the one who enshrouded me in darkness was not Vadi, it was. Ah, if the one who enchanted me and turned the jewel into a dark portal wanted Vadi restored, his goal must be to use Vadi to remake Hyrule into a land of darkness. Listen to me, heroes. You must never forget that Vadi is not the only foe you face. I will follow my brother Knight's lead and trust to you this green royal jewel. Now go, you and the four sword. But yeah, the four elemental stones that you collect in the... Minish Cap are the four royal jewels. Uh, yeah, like I said, they don't explain what they are in this game other than the fact that they're royal jewels and trusted by knights. And yeah, timeline issues aside, they're what you collect. And they have no purpose except to unlock the last area. But since it's a story-driven thing, it's inconsequential as well.
So there we go, the second jewel. Uh, I forgot what element that was. Uh, let's see, I know the blue one was water, there's fire, there's earth and wind, so... Uh, I'm gonna go with earth, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? You know! But you're gonna tell me anyways. Alright, so yeah, there we are, Kakariko Village. And basically what the Green Knight said was basically confirming... Well, slightly confirming what was said back in the Lost Woods with the Ichi Scrubs. Bleh. But yeah, that's the end of Kakariko Village, and I'm pretty much out of time. This is Guy Christian 9, and in the next episode, I will wrap up level 5 by starting the Temple of Darkness. It's dark, and it's also Ocarina of Time again. Yay!